the ocean. Uh, scientists tonight are warning the Earth is susceptible to a major solar storm. It is a storm that could make global warming seem absolutely irrelevant. Uh, it is also a storm that could raise absolute havoc with telecommunication systems, transportation, and much, much more. Inez Foray with our report. If you think New York City in a blackout is bad, imagine a similar scenario across the nation or other parts of the world, all because of a solar storm disrupting our satellites and power grids. Roughly every 11 years, the sun goes through a cycle of peak solar activity and sunspots. The next one is due by May 2013. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration says that cycle could produce fewer than average solar storms, but warns the Earth is still vulnerable to a single devastating storm. Just because a, a solar storm season is, is below average doesn't mean that the intensity of the storms will be any less than what we would get during an extreme cycle. It takes only one solar storm of extreme proportions to cause a lot of damage. In 1989, a solar storm left six million Canadians in the dark. And in 1859, solar activity lit up the night sky and shorted out telegraph wires. With our dependence on modern technology for everything from commerce to communications to defense, we're more vulnerable than ever, according to physicist Michio Kaku. We're talking about wiping out all satellite communications, all weather satellites, spy satellites, the internet, GPS, and blackening out most cities. Every 11 years, we're playing Russian roulette with the sun. So sooner or later, we're going to lose that bet. The National Academy of Sciences says a severe solar storm scenario today could cost one to two trillion dollars in damages and take up to 10 years to recover. Astrophysicist Willie Soon says this scenario is avoidable. If we do have some kind of warning, well ahead of time, basically even hours, then we can sort of temporarily shut off the operation of the satellite. That would really very, very minimize the, the damage, the potential damages that could be done to the satellite system. And next week, scientists and technology experts will gather in Washington, D.C. to talk about the possibility of a major space weather event and if we're prepared for it, Lou. But, uh, let's find out if we can be prepared for it. And that's a fascinating story. Thanks, and that's for a...